So here we are, about 230 Ooh. miles oh. of the uh, first annual barbecue tour. And it was a good day, wasn't it? Oh, I think it was. Um, so yeah, this is uh, Brother Matthew and, and I'm Scott. Scott. So uh, again, talk about the Cardo Pack Talk Bowl Part 2. Uh, we're going to give you our views after using them today in our rat barbecue ride, the first ride of, well, I guess... The barbecue tour. A few, yeah. That's right. We want to thank everybody for coming out. Uh, you guys were awesome today. We had some had a uh, about yeah. 12, 12 people rode from the initial initial Dunkin' Donuts we met at. We picked up another uh, about three or four three. of the second Dunkin' Donuts, and then had a great ride up to uh, Smoky no Jim Jimmy Smoking Jim's Smoking Q. That's right, Jim's Smoking Q. Good barbecue, by the way. Um, so, all right. So where do you want to start? So getting into the comm units. First off, mounting. Um, the uh, we're, our, our experiences with the SMH 10 unit from Sena, which uh, the mounting is completely different. Uh, it's still a clamp type mount, but with the Sena, you you have to use a tool to slip a a, a piece up in, and then you tighten the Sena onto it. Um, the Pack Talk is is remarkably simple. It's just a little spring clip. You just clip it in, and you're done. Um, so it's no tool install. Very very short and sweet. I've had it installed in my element in less than five minutes from opening the package. Um, the uh, comment on mounting the actual unit into it, it the Sena has a very nice kind of easy disconnect clip. The pack dog has got a much kind of, you slip it in the front and it's got, you really got to kind of give it a good push in there. But once it's in, the little pop-up antenna, it, uh, there's no way it's coming out. Yeah, um, I think we had great experience today. We did Bluetooth and DMC. Yeah. Um, I think you want the sound quality, I think we both agree, was awesome compared to what we're used to. So the, the Santa has these little, real thin, little earpieces. Um, the earpieces of the Pack Talk are almost double the thickness. Um, but to be totally honest, they give almost earbud quality sound with music. Um, and the, the audio quality between uh, Bluetooth um, communication and then the dynamic mesh mode, the DMC mode, um, is much, much clearer, much sharper, crisper. Um, and there's no there's no wind noise in between voice sections. So if you have a broken section of, of some silence in between, the silence in between is totally silent. Um, it'll it it's voice activated technology. So when you start talking, it takes a little snippet. It it transmits that. And when when the microphone is not being used, it is not transmitting anything. Whereas the same as uh, at least these SMH tens, um, if somebody had their visor up the whole time, you'd be hearing wind noise. That is not the case with the Pack Dog Bold. Okay, uh, what else we decide? The, I guess the button management. Using the buttons mm. uh, takes a little bit of getting used to once you figure out where they are and you feel them with your fingers. Um, it's going to take some getting used to instead of a jog dial on the side, the, probably. The, yeah, the beauty, the beauty of the Sena is you have a gigantic button that you can double tap, single tap, roll forward, push and roll forward for changing tracks. There's a lot of combinations of the main button and then if you want to do anything with the phone you activate the phone and then you can use the button for the phone. The, uh, the Pack Talk has um, three buttons of which there's multiple combinations and multiple buttons do the same thing so you can kind of pick and choose but, but you can answer a phone call by hitting any of them but you can't end a phone call by pushing any of them because if you push the top one you'll share it to the entire group which if you're on a private phone call might not be uh, <laughs> what you want to do. Um, and then the roller jog dial, you can push and roll it sometimes, you can roll it backwards. So there's different combinations of, of buttons. There's more buttons, there's combination button pushes um, to go between DMC mode and Bluetooth mode. There's, there's just more, much more buttonage, if that's even a word. Um, so it's gonna take some getting used to. It's, you gotta kind of, the button, you can't miss the big jog dial. But right. we, you almost find yourself putting the palm of your hand up to it, and th thankfully they did put pretty, pretty good raised, raised kind of feeler gauges on the buttons. So if you lay your palm on it, you can kind of feel, oh, there's the three, and I need the top one. Um, but the buttonage certainly is nowhere near as easy as the same. That's that's about the only downfall I've found so far. 
Uh, did you say you might be able to share a phone call with the entire group? I thought I heard you say that. Right? Yeah, you know, that might be a good idea, especially if you're wishing like a birthday, a happy birthday to somebody, I don't know, Fred or something. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, uh, so, you know, if you were to call Fred up and say happy birthday, we all could then do that. Then, you know, anyway. in that case, yeah, in the yeah, fact yeah. that you just, you get them on the phone, you hit the top button, and then the entire group can sing a great happy birthday to Fred. Don't worry, Fred, you are not forgotten. That's right. And even you with do, automatic transmission. Yep, you That's do, right. in fact, meet some of the nicest people in Hondas. You do, indeed. We've met some nice ones. Um, let's see, battery life. Battery life. Awesome. Yeah, right? it's great so far. We, there is a huge difference between battery life from the Bluetooth mode and the DMC mode. We got about probably about six hours of use on the Bluetooth mode, and then we said, "Hey, Cardo, battery status." And uh, mine, after playing with it a little bit before Scott, mine was at seventy-five. His was at eighty percent after about six hours of use. Yeah. Then we decided we'd try out the DMC mode, so we did the two-button combo, the two back buttons. These two, you press those, you're in a DMC mode, and we used DMC mode for probably. 45 minutes Not to an hour, long, yeah. and after about, you know, then we both said the Hey Cardo battery status, and both of our units were down to 50% in a, a sixth of the time. Yeah. So the DMC mode, and they, you know, we knew the DMC mode battery life was going to be less, but it did go down substantially quicker than we even anticipated it would. But so, if, I mean, if you're riding in a smaller group with, with only three or four people talking, Bluetooth mode is definitely the way to go. In a much bigger group setting with anywhere between four and 15 people, DMC mode is what you've got to use to get everybody talking. But like Review said before we bought them, you know, we're probably going to have to charge them. And they're quick charge capable at lunchtime. Just plug them in, give them a little boost um, to get you through the latter half of the day. Or even charge it while you ride. So I'd say overall we're pretty impressed um, with the unit, oh, with everything really. Yeah. Um, and on the way back we did in fact, one of our big concerns uh, going between the, after struggling with the decision between the Sama 30K and the uh, and the Cardo packed off bold was, uh, was waterproofing. And on the way back we did in fact <laughs> ride through a decently heavy rain, rainstorm yeah, for a, probably about 15-20 minutes. and. Uh, it was nice knowing that with the IP67 rating, we just didn't even have to worry about water, whereas there have been known instances of the Sainas having water rain-related issues. So it's nice knowing, hey Adam, we don't have to worry about it. We can put it in a glass of water for seven hours and we'll be fine, as we've seen by reviews online. Um, really, I mean, remarkably a pretty good unit. Um, well, I guess one last thing to add, the little antenna, I kind of, I genuinely thought the antenna was a bit of a gimmick. Um, However, I did notice, I think we both noticed that it is the range um, and the clarity um, over the range with the antenna up is noticeable, in fact. Um, so, uh, but I mean, it's so small and tucked out the way, you know, I just, I would, when I turned it off, I took it out the way and when I turned it on, I just, and it's, you, all you have to do is once you find it, you just push it in and it pops up. So it's easy to use, but it's, um, it is worth, it's it's not actually a gimmick. It's it's actually a legitimate. Uh, it legitimately actually has some worthwhile tendencies and worthwhile. It's it's worth keeping it up. Definitely. Um, oh, about the computer. The pro, uh, oh yeah, one of the things. One review. Um, yeah, on the, on the website, you create a user profile on the website. Um, you can go through and set your preferences. You can adjust anything through the app on the phone, and you can also adjust it with you plugged into the computer. You can do firmware updates on the computer. One of the things that they mentioned when we were researching this was that you can just plug it into your computer, and it's all web-based. You can update the firmware from from just a website, um, and that is correct as long as you have installed a small little driver first. So. If you, if you have a company computer that's locked down pretty hard um, or something like that, then you wouldn't have been able to update the SANA on it anyway because the SANA has their own little downloadable application. And that was one of the things for Scott, yeah. you know, as a teacher, he's got a teacher computer. And um, so the same, you know, he would always, we'd always update his here on my laptop or whatever. So the, the thought of just having a web-based update was, was, a, was cool. But with the fact that you actually have to download and install a driver, that now means that he can't update it from his, his school computer. So um, 
even though they say you can they say you can update from the web, you can as long as you download and install a small driver first. So there's a little catch there, a little kind of caveat, which I I was a little I'm not annoyed about it because I can do it on my computer just fine, but they weren't upfront about that, so kind of left a little bit of a hmm. They didn't they didn't mention anything about a driver, so a couple of some people may may be a little frustrated about that. Fair enough. Um, let's see. I think uh, if, if you're really looking between the two units, I think that's what our yeah we going spend, back and forth. We spend a lot of time yeah. debating on it. I mean, a lot of our guys, a lot of us are, have have got a lot of experience on the Santa, especially a lot of us have the 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 uh, SMH 10s. The um, I mean, I've I've personally been running the 10s for at least six years. I think even up to seven years now. Um, and it's still going, it's, the battery life has been affected by its age. Um, I have to charge it much more often, even sometimes during a ride I have to charge it. But it's still going strong, I haven't had brain issues with it. But we, but with our history with the Sena, we had we struggled a lot with the decision between sticking with the Sena line or- 30K. Cross, or the 30K or crossing over and going to the Cardo. And it, one of the key factors ended up being the waterproofing. Uh, no, there was no issues with people having water damage and whatnot with the, with the 20, uh, 20S and up lines in the Santa, so um, waterproofing was, was kind of one of the final straws. Um, and we struggled to find a lot of good feedback online from everywhere that we looked. And we looked pretty extensively. Yeah. We, we struggled to find a lot of detailed information about the Santa 30K. Um, there is information out there, but when you compare it, you really have to hunt down the information for the Santa 30K where there is just Good feedback, pretty much everywhere we looked about the the pack talk and the pack talk bold is now the basically it's the exact same as the pack talk. It's just got voice control features. For instance, we could say "Hey Carter, battery status," and it just tells you. Um, there's a button combination or something that you can do, and that just the regular pack talk, but you can just talk commands to this, and as long as you say exactly what it wants to hear, then it works great. It understands my accent, so. Hey, and, and I almost said today, hey, Cardo, order me barbecue, a <laughs> pork plate with banana pudding on the side. But no, I didn't do that. Or, uh, hey, Cardo, sing Fred, happy birthday. That's right. Hey, it's Fred's birthday, yeah. by the way, today. Just in case you right. didn't realize. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I know Mark is looking at one of these comms, and we're not trying to, you know, we're not sponsored by Cardo. We're just, nope. you know, a couple of riders trying to experiment, our buddies. Uh, Steven, Todd, you know, some of the other guys are uh, looking at, you know, uh, up Tim. Upgrading from the SMH-10, I yeah. know. There's a lot of people. There's a couple, a couple have already pulled the trigger um, on the Cardo series. Um, so, I mean, it's, there's no, go with what you want is best, but our input from a lot of research and, and, uh, and even hands-on experience, not that we have, we don't have hands-on experience with the Santa 30K, but uh, our experience after 230, ish miles um, testing out about every feature that we could test out between two people um, was positive yeah oh and the music is phenomenal so if you're one of those people that likes to just you yeah. know hey phone you know music the speakers are amazing I mean Van Halen Panama yeah. I felt like I was in the front row you know David Lee Roth kicking Cold stuff at play me. going this morning see jamming and yeah you know it's like I'm not I'm not exaggerating when I say that the the speaker quality of the Cardo is is almost earbud like good quality earbud quality, um, but again they are they're about twice the thickness of this. So in my GT Air, um, my my ears fit just fine. I have big floppy ears, so they fit just fine. Um, now I have to kind of put my helmet on and give it a little wiggle just to pop my ears up. Um, but I don't mind that they're that they're right next to my ear. I wear earplugs um, pretty much every time I'm going on a ride longer than five minutes, I'll have earplugs in, and I have no issues with the volume. Um, in fact, most of the time I would turn it to max and then roll it down a couple of clicks. Um, I know, Scott, you weren't wearing earplugs yep. today, and um, yeah. he clearly didn't have any issues with volume because I could hear it fine with earplugs. So. Yeah. Volume is excellent. Um, yeah. And volume control, you, you set each volume differently. so. You said it. Talk about the, the ramping up. That oh, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So, so it, it's, it detects speed um, and, um, and ambient noise. As you speed up, yeah. usually, I'm, I noticed on the way 
um, over to meet Scott with music going, they're usually around 35 miles an hour. It would start picking up the wind noise of the bike and whatnot, and it would it would take my music that I already had, you know, maxed out minus about two clicks, and it would ramp that up as the ambient noise went up. And it would probably max out by about around, you know, low mid mid to low 40 miles per hour. It would have ramped up to its new peak, and then as you slow back down and get from the 40 down to about 35, it's back down to its its volume that you had it set at. So it's and that is cool. adjustable. You can adjust it in your phone or on the computer when you plug it in. You can adjust the sensitivity. It comes default as medium. I will probably put mine to low because um, it. I mean, it's, it's pretty loud. It got noticeably <laughs> louder. It's uh, pretty loud. Not that that's a bad thing, but yeah. then when it gets quieter, again, it gets noticeably quieter. Whereas I'd, I'd almost rather there be less variance because the the GT Air is 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 a relatively quiet helmet anyway, and with the earplugs in, um, it was. I mean, initially when I was just speeding up through it, I was like, wow, that got substantially louder all of a sudden. <laughs> so it's, it's definitely noticeable, but it is adjustable if you want to tweak it however you like it. Um, but again, the sound quality is, is incredible. Yeah, I, I think overall we're just really happy. And you said this is a quiet helmet, right? I think Matthew actually sits around and reads in that helmet. It's so quiet. He just reads books. I mean, now that I've got the car, I'll just yeah. put my helmet on. He just, he just get some <laughs> tunes going. It, you can, that's right, live with the car down, baby. <laughs> um, anyway, it, we had a great day today, um, testing, riding, eating. Mm. Um, you know, I wish we didn't have lap traffic in front of us. Yeah. We had some slowdowns, sorry we were late. Uh, we ran into some really cool people up at uh, Jim's Smoking Q Barbecue. Yeah, sure did. That's right. Um, so a lot of people came down for the ride. Thank you guys, and thank yeah. you, sir. Yeah, thanks for a great day of riding. Thanks for all those that came out for the first first of the uh, few uh, barbecue rides this uh, this summer season and uh, looking to make an annual kind of some type of food tour maybe next year it'll be Mexican tour or something I don't know who knows but Euros or yeah whatever Mediterranean called. food <laughs> you know we'll, we'll explore a little bit but awesome. uh, anyway so much for keeping this to a three minute video. yeah anyway yeah. so uh, that's good I think we're good you know, um, you know Scotty can talk yeah I'm, I'm talking all the time on this one <laughs> Comment if you want, uh, leave your feedback, whatever. Um, mm -hmm. But again, we're just going over what we experienced and trying to help people out, yep. no big deal. We know a lot of you have the same as, so we wanted to give you give you as much information as we have currently about the uh, the new Cardo Pack Dog Bowl. That's it. All right, hey, get out and ride. Antenna down. Standing up. Peace. And beer. <laughs>